So, once you have performed your statistical test, uh, when you're looking for a difference, and you know whether there is a significant difference or no significant difference, and then you've made the figure that you're going to present your data in, in your results section, you need to know how to present uh, the significant difference in that figure. Uh, so we're looking at a figure that I've made in Microsoft Excel here. And the figure shows the difference, using a bar chart, in RPE, so that's perceived exertion, during exercise when you've had breakfast or if you haven't had breakfast. And you can see that the participants that haven't had breakfast have found the exercise more difficult than the participants who had had breakfast. And this was exercise of the same intensity. Now I've analysed this data using SPSS and it turns out that the difference between an RPE between the breakfast trial and the no breakfast trial is significant. So there's a significant difference between the two means uh, of these two samples. And now the way that you're going to denote that statistical significance is by placing a star over the bar that is different from the other bar. So this little star here denotes that there is a statistically significant difference in the scores in this trial compared with this trial. So you also then have to tell the reader when you put this uh, figure in Microsoft Word what that star denotes. So let's just open up a Word document like we're going to create a results section and we're just going to copy this figure across Okay, let's make this a bit bigger. When you paste a figure in, you want to paste as an enha as a TIFF file. It makes it looks better. So there's our figure. Let's make it a little bit smaller. We'll centralize it. Now let's just bring it down a touch. And now whenever you put a figure in, you want to make sure you give it a title. So we'll call this figure one. And we're going to call it perceived exertion during exercise with or without breakfast. Okay, and so that's our figure title. Now we've got to tell the reader what this star denotes because at the moment if you're looking at that figure as a reader you know what the title uh, you know from the title what the figure represents but you don't know what the star means what is that star actually referring to so below the figure you've got to tell them so we'll put in a little uh, caption down here saying star oops just stop that from doing that undo uh, star denotes P lower than 0 0.05 for comparison between breakfast and no breakfast trials. We'll make that a little bit smaller. We'll centralize it and we'll italicize it. Okay, so now when you're looking at that figure, you know the title of, from the title of the figure what that figure denotes, and you know from the little caption, uh, the little footnote below the figure, what the star represents. So you use the star to show that there's a statistically significant difference, and you just have to make sure you refer to that at the bottom of the figure. There we go.